My friends, this is good news. Drivers are fighting back. They're not taking the nonsense anymore. So this Lyft driver shoots two suspects attempting, attempting to carjack his vehicle in Philadelphia. Right, This is the second hero in my eyes in the last two weeks that has said, no, 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 no. This is my car, my office, my rules. Pop. Right, And it sends a loud message to these thugs that, hey, we're not going to tolerate this nonsense any longer, right? Because the companies are failing us and we have to act on it. Watch the video. Police say that a Lyft driver shot at two men attempting to Good. his car in one of the Good. city's latest attempted carjackings. Steve Keeley live in Center City with more. These guys got more than they bargained for. Good. Good morning. Yeah, this is when you always hear that TV news awful cliche, he turned the tables, right? Well, a lot of viewers always remind us that he turned it for the game. We had three different scenes here. And this, let me remind you, is after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, right across from Fairmount Park, right as people are outside. So there's witnesses at all the scenes. And it's hard to believe that this is the brazenness of these carjackers and these two guys in the 20s Teach them a lesson. intentionally rear end this in their 20s that's the thing that's happening right now they bump you to make you stop and get out and they do it right in front of people so don't they don't fall, don't fall and this infinity driver has a woman passenger in his back seat and it takes two bumps from to say hey what's going on and when he gets out the passenger in a honda gets out with an automatic rifle and points it at him again in front of witnesses and he gets out with his hands up and says hey you're going to have my car, but let me get this lady out. I'm a Lyft driver. Let me get her out because you don't want to take her and have a kidnapping. So they let him get her out of there. And then he waits for the carjacker to get into his car. Then he pulls his gun. And he has a concealed carry permit because you would think every Lyft driver and Uber driver who doesn't want to die on the job would have that as well. Here's the second scene. This is where his car ends up just about two blocks away. And look at the bullet holes. He blows the driver through the window through the door handle, through the door Love frame, it. hits that guy at least twice in the torso, and that guy stops just three blocks away, right on Parkside Avenue, right at Fairmount Park, Beautiful. falls out of the driver's side. Beautiful. He call police thinking, hey, there's a shooting victim here. Meantime, he then turns to the Honda and shoots that driver through the passenger side of that. That guy makes it two blocks in the opposite direction after making a U-turn. Good, and he good marksman, boy. At Lancaster in 43rd Street. And then some more people call cops there. Meanwhile, he calls the police with his female passenger and witnesses who tell police the whole story. And they realize these two guys that they rushed to the hospital are now not victims, but prisoners. This 38-year-old Lyft driver, after being rear-ended and carjacked, he pulled his weapon and fired shots at both vehicles. The vehicle that was stolen from him Good. fired shots at the Honda, the driver who had the getaway car, struck both these individuals, Beautiful. and now they're both at the hospital as prisoners. I Very love it. This is so situation. cool. Fortunately, our Lyft driver, our victim, wasn't shot because he had a rifle put to him, and our Lyft driver had a weapon that he used, and he shot both of the perpetrators. So this case, again, illustrates why so many delivery drivers, food delivery drivers, pizza drivers, Uber and Lyft drivers are all running the gun stores and getting good guns uh, because this is what's happening on a daily basis. All yeah, the companies are failing us here in Philadelphia. Bill, the other thing uh, that you may want to get into is the armored car and tank business because I'm sure a lot of delivery drivers and Uber drivers would like to be in a tank with yep. a gun. Tank bring it, bring it out. Safe. And here's the other thing. What are you going to do now? You're driving around and you get rear-ended. Are you supposed to leave the scene of an accident and worry about getting a ticket or have your car damaged by somebody who was maybe on their phone and rear-ended you? Because now the first thought, if you hear stories like this repeatedly, is that, oh my God, I'm getting carjacked. I don't want to stop here even though I've been rammed from behind. So that's the other quandary right now. Everybody watching is thinking like, what do I do if I'm- Call 911. Because this is happening right in the middle of the afternoon, like yesterday, right on Parkside. Police had so many witnesses of all the events at all three locations uh, because this is right in the daytime and people thinking I got an accident victim here or I have two shooting victims, let me help. Little do they know, it's two armed carjackers. They found that rifle that the guy had after he collapsed out of the car inside the Infinity.
it's interesting too, Steve, because as you pointed out, that's what they tell you to do. Like go to a populated area to make sure that everything is okay. And these guys are doing it in front of a group of witnesses. The police say that a this guy's a hero, man. He popped both those cars, both those thugs, you know, the getaway car and the other car. Took him out, right? Fantastic. I would love to interview this character, man. Because this guy sends a loud... They, they do this in the middle of the day. Think they're going to get away with this crap, uh, this crap and then they run into this excellent surprise. So um, let's give the guy two thumbs up, my friends, to this driver for taking out those thugs. Beautiful work, my friend. Have a good day.